today, it feels a bit lighter knowing now that all First Nations people, regardless of where they live, who are 18 and over, will have access to the vaccine. Manitoba's vaccine task force making a major move on Monday. All First Nations people 18 and older in the province are now eligible for vaccination. Last week was a really hard week. In the past seven days, two First Nations people in their 20s died from COVID-19. Dr. Marsha Anderson says that weighs on her because only one of them was eligible for vaccination. It was a lot of weight to carry and it really emphasized and hit home uh, the fact that we've been seeing more hospitalizations and more ICU admissions in the officer First Nations people. One of them would have had access to the vaccine uh, and one of them didn't necessarily at that time based on the age eligibility, which was 30 for officer First Nations. The new eligibility, the same for both on and off reserve and now includes Métis and Inuit people as well. Dr. Anderson saying the move to maximize vaccinations amongst Indigenous people is important because they've consistently made up to 50 to 60 percent of all COVID-19 admissions to intensive care units. It's been tough, but that's been a consistent pattern as well. And that's why we're so pleased today that the vaccine, uh, which is one of our greatest tools in preventing severe outcomes from COVID-19, are now available to everybody uh, who identifies as First Nations in Manitoba. We don't want to see uh, groups that are disproportionately affected, and we're going to target our vaccine campaign in that manner and it's also the best way to reduce the impact on our on our health care system. As of Friday, 169 First Nation people have died to COVID-19, 114 off reserve and 55 on. There are also almost 1,000 active cases of COVID-19 amongst First Nation individuals. We are impacted uh, more severe than, than the uh, uh, rest of the province and now I'm glad that we're able to bring forward the, the vaccines to so many people who who can uh, help protect themselves as well as uh, all of their loved ones. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.